we're going to find the density of marbles. Uh, and to do that, we need to use our water displacement method to find the volume. And we can use uh, a measuring cylinder with some water for that. And to find the mass, we're going to use uh, a balance. Now, if we put the marbles on the balance, they may sit there, but they may roll off. So to find the mass, uh, we'll come back to that in a second, but we're going to use the mass of the water and the measuring cylinder and the marble all at the same time. So these groups given seven marbles, measuring cylinder, a small beaker of water. And I'm going to start off by putting 30 centimeters cubed of water into the measuring cylinder. It doesn't have to be exactly 30, but it should be very close to 30. That's exactly 30 centimeters cubed. Uh, and I'm going to record that. That's our um, zero marbles. So it's going to have 30 centimeters cubed of water, but it'll obviously have uh, zero uh, volume of marbles. I'm going to find the mass of that. Now that's going to be 52 grams, but I'm going to reset my scale to zero. Uh, so that any additional marbles that I put in uh, will just show up the mass of those. So I'm going to include the mass then as zero. So we'll start off putting in one marble at a time and we'll read the volume. You need to be gentle putting the marbles in so as not to splash any water. So I'm going to tilt it over and roll it in gently. That's got a mass of six grams, so the marble should have a mass of six grams. And the volume now is about 32 centimetres cubed. Which means that the volume of each mar of the one marble will be uh, 32. Take away 30 is 2 centimetres cubed. And we're going to repeat that for further marbles. Now we could just find the density from there. Say density equals mass divided by volume. Uh, 6 divided by 2 equals 3 grams per centimetres cubed. But the balance is only reading to one gram. The uh, measuring cylinder is only reading to one centimetre cubed. And so if it's a little bit out from that, there's going to be a rounding error involved there. If, the more marbles we put in, the more uh, we're going to get close to the true answer. That's two marbles. Now up to 11 grams. And the volume now is... Uh, it's a bit over 34, but I'll have to record that as uh, 34. So our volume is 4. But we can see the vast wasn't 12 this time, so it wasn't exactly 6 the first time. Maybe, maybe close to 5.5. Let's keep going. So we're up to 16 for the mass of 3 marbles. And our volume is 36. which means our volume six. So it does look like the uh, volume of each marble is about um, uh, two centimeters cubed, but we'll keep on going. Four marbles. Our volume is now 48 and our mass is 21. Which gives us a, a volume of eight. Fifth marble. Mass of 26. Uh, volume of 40. Which is a volume of 10 total for the marbles. It's a volume of 31. Uh, sorry, mass of 31, uh, volume of, it's a bit over 42, but we have to record that as 42. This is a volume of 12. And our final marble.
a mass of 36 and a volume the volume is about 44 and a half um, but we'll record that as 44 because it's not quite the 44 and a half and we have to record to the nearest marking on our measuring cylinder so this isn't a perfect uh, set of measurements because our, uh, our volumes are limited by the precision of the measuring cylinder. Similarly, our mass is limited by the precision of the balance, but it will be sufficient. So now we've got a set of results, and we can use that to work out the density by dividing the mass by the volume. We can also plot a graph of mass against volume and see what relationship that is.